Hello Makeup Void, I'm the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Pandette eyeshadow update for the month of August because we're going into August and just standard protocol. I have five eyeshadows that I rotate through that I try to hit pan on. I did implement a 30 use goal last month or the month prior to it so it's either pan or third uses so just so you know what we're getting into but if you, before we get into all that I do just want to say if you could do me a favor and give this video a like or a thumbs up I don't remember ever what this is for YouTube I just click the button on every video but do me a favor, click on that button and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of project panning content. I also do colorful eyeshadows. This is actually toned down for me today, but it's also proof that I can do a look without winged eyeliner. Just something about do, I don't like the combination of like yellow and black together unless I have other shadows mixed in and I just wanted to do a monochromatic look. So this is what we're going with today. I have no yellow eyeshadows in this project. I just felt like doing yellow because it's gonna be 100 degrees today. <laughs> And I decided to do light, easy makeup, so now let's get going into the video. For the first update, actually, I'm going to start with my new cat, Freddie Mercury. I'm going to have his picture up here. So we adopted a new kitten on July 5th, and since it's pretty much been a month since we've had them, I wanted to show some growth pictures of him because he was four months old when we adopted him, so... This is how he looked when we got him, and then this is how he looks now after a month. He is becoming a big boy. Oh my gosh, he fills my heart with joy. He and my other kitty, Moose, have become the best of friends. It warms my heart so much. There's been a couple times, actually, where I've been petting Freddy in front of Moose, and he's just kind of, like, intently watching me, like, what are you doing with my little brother? How dare you? Um, if you hurt him, I will come after you. Like, just that, I could tell that look in his eyes. Oh my gosh. He has really warmed up to my husband. He, me and him are just kind of still like, he likes me more, he likes me, but he's not fully like in cuddly mode. So I'm sure that's going to be a process still. He was a stray before we adopted him. And so we can definitely see kind of those, th those, those hesitations, that body language, the way, the way he acts um, really does rip. Um, really does show that he was indeed a stray so we're always trying to encourage him as much as humans can do and let him know that he is in his forever home and that he's a joy to have and that he's always going to be loved and loved to be safe or loved and safe so that's my first update. Going into eyeshadow now I am going to start with uh, the shadow I hit pan on because I told you guys last month that I was going to hit pan on it and I did. So first is the e.l.f. Bite Size Palette in the shade, um, the light shade, the Mint to Be. If you are new to this project, the way I do it is I randomize all of the palettes and then I choose the individual shadow in the palette to work on. So I've had this product, uh, the shadow in the month, I think since April. And since the beginning of using it, I have used this shadow a total of 31 times. In the month of July, I used it four times, but it only took three times to hit pan. So I hit my usage goal and my pan goal. I knew that was going to happen this month. And for this next shadow, I'm just rolling out. I hit the usage goal and I just have no desire to use this anymore. I really don't. And I'm talking about the Elf Bite Size Palette and I'm referring to that green shadow right there. I just can't make this shadow work with other looks because I have noticed that I've been just doing the same look over and over with this shadow and I like the end result but I also don't. The shadow itself is great. I like the shadow itself. It's just this time of year, the other shadows I've been pairing with it, it's just not really working. The only real interesting look that I've done with it is, I'm gonna put it up here, I did this kind of like watermelon look and still it's just not the right shade of green. I just can't, this is getting rolled out. But before we get um, usage, I used this shadow four times in the last month, which also took me to 31 times total. Something I implemented last month was the fact that I just find myself not reaching for other shadows in the palette. So I had this goal that I was going to use other shadows within the palette five times. So just easy example for this, for to go towards that tally, I would have had to use the green shadow and another shadow within the palette to go towards that. For the meant to be, 
I didn't do that at all. For the jalapeno one, I used it two times in that circumstance. And it was close enough. I mean, I just, yeah, I already explained my feelings over it. So these two are being ruled out. The next shadow comes from the Wahala 2 palette. And I chose the shade Fate which is this duochrome purple look right here. And I have just been struggling so hard with this shadow because of course I chose the darkest shadow to choose from pretty much in the palette. There's a couple other dark ones, but it's a duochrome. I thought it would be fun to bring in. It has a putty formula. I mean, look at that shift. It's, it's phenomenal. But since I rolled it in in June, I've only used it eight times total, which for me is kind of abysmal when it comes to my panning projects because I usually hit like at least seven or even ten times usage of a shadow in a month, which I, I didn't do for any of these this past month. So I was just really struggling with it. In terms of like usage of the palette as a whole, I used it as I used it for that tally three times. So five times in July, eight times total, three times as towards that palette usage goal. I just I'm just struggling with this shadow, just trying to make it work with my other products. It's really hard to show progress with this shadow because it does have that creamy formula to it. So I have to only use my finger and because of that, it's just, it's, it's, it's really easy when I swivel my finger in the shadow just for stuff to move around. So I don't know how much progress you're going to see. Actually, I already took the progress, pic progress picture so you can see some difference, but I mean, I love this palette, don't get me wrong, but just fake is proving to be a struggle with me. But I am slowly, I think because it's a duochrome, I'm having to learn different ways to use it. Something I do want to point out because of that is I'm going to actually put the picture over here. I don't know why I keep moving back and forth. But when I do my makeup, the lighting you see is how I do my makeup because I always film in front of my vanity for the most optimal lighting. And so when I use this shadow in front of my vanity, it looks purple, but in more, so kind of more on the cool side, daylight lighting, but if I go to a warmer tone lighting, it looks brown. So that look is the same makeup, just in two different lighting. So I, that showed me that I really need to think of this more than just a purple shadow, but take advantage of like kind of the brown to green shift within it. So that helped me kind of, that helped me this month. And now that, kind of realization will help me months going forward with this shadow. Next on the list is from the Rustic Glam palette. I chose the shade Evil Eye, which is that bright blue right here. This is a beautiful shadow. The pigmentation, the blendability, everything about this shadow is fan freaking nominal. And I just adore it so incredibly much. And so numbers wise, I use this shadow six times this month and for a total of 19 times overall and in terms of my palette usage goal i used it four times so i almost made it with this one but there's a shadow swatched out and even so like it kind of goes with fake but at the same time it kind of doesn't and i will say with this using two shadows for a look i did kind of cheat a little bit and use free spirit the light cream shade to kind of smooth out the um or diffuse the color a little bit so it looks a little bit more blended so I did kind of do a couple cop-outs with that but still I enjoy this shadow it's hard though I feel like to create different looks because it's a matte and so it's always like all over in my crease and I used it for like just like a little bit like in the middle or something doing some gradients but I'm having fun with this shadow still. I think I'm going to still be able to come up with very beautiful looks and I feel like if I really put some more effort and energy into this shadow next month, I think I'm going to be able to hit paint on it. I think I'm really close to it. And in terms of looks, actually, since I have a couple over here, is that a lot of times I would use Evil Eye with the Hot Jalapeno shadow and they just don't go together. They're just two really different tones and looking back at the hot jalapeno and the evil eye I do that kind of look a lot so I need a change up just to find different ways to use evil eye and I just need to get rid of hot jalapeno and the last shadow I actually did a little change up so this is coming from the Norns palette I chose last month to go with the shade mist and then I just wasn't feeling it. I chose Miss because I thought it would look really well with fake, and it does. Those two shadows together are phenomenal. 
but I was still, I, I didn't know. I was just like, you know what? I, I decided after three uses of mist that because I choose the shadows in the palette, why don't I change it? So I changed it from mist to cell, and oh my gosh, I regret nothing. This shadow is so beautiful. It's not gonna, it doesn't swatch the best, especially for camera, just because it has like a light violet base with like blue sp like specks of glitter. So you can kind of see it a little bit, but just dipping your finger into it, doing like a light pitter patter on the eyes, it looks so glittery, so beautiful. So for the self shadow, I used it five times. And I actually did hit my palette usage goal for um, the five uses with this palette. And I think this is the palette that's really going to make it be easy coming months forward because self, I can just grab any other shadow to really create a really beautiful look. I adore using self. I'm so glad I did the little change up during the month because I've just had a lot of joy with these shadows. So those are all my updates. We're rolling in two shadows. Let's get going into that. Since the last update, I only brought in two eyeshadow palettes because I got the lethal... Maybe Lethal's that I think came after that update, so I'll show you this one real quick. I already did a Two Looks One palette review with this, and it was also included in my monthly favorites for July, so that one's new. I got my hands on the Menagerie Serenity palette. This just came in the mail, and look at how beautiful this palette is. Oh my gosh. And then you guys have already seen that I got the Tartlet Juicy palette. Still beautiful, still pretty. So those are the three palettes I brought in. I think I decluttered, did I declutter a few sh palettes this month? I think I decluttered the rest of my bite size pa shadows palettes this month because I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm over them. Those just aren't for me. And then the, the true new thing that I added besides palettes is something that I'm going to call pick the palette, randomize the color. So pretty much the reverse of what I do for all of these. So with all of those shadow, those palettes added, subtracted, I also don't include shadow palettes I've recently hit pan on. I include some bundles of singles. So because I'm just rolling out the e.l.f. bite size palettes, I'm gonna probably leave them out for a couple months and then throw them back in probably for the September update or October. So I have 50 even to go through. Let me get pretty random open. I love that I have a nice even number. Okay, out of 50. 22, let me write this down somewhere. And then we have 27. Okay, those are gonna be close together. I don't think they're gonna be the same brand. 22 are my Kiko singles, and then 27, is my Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette. So let me go get those. All right, so for Kiko, I have decluttered, I only had like five to begin with. I decluttered one like a long time ago, but the only two that I have left is this bright blue, well, they're technically high pigment palettes. This bright blue, I don't know what the shade is. I just noticed that it's not on the back. But I have this one, and then I have this purple one. And so pretty much by default, I'm going to choose the purple one because I already have a bright blue in here. And I just feel like, oh, let me kind of swatch the, both of them. I mean, technically I could bring in the light blue, but I don't want to. Just by default, it's going to be the purple Kiko shadow, which I think is going to be very pretty. It goes actually really well with my color story going on. Yeah, that's actually pretty beautiful. Okay, that was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Also ironic because of my makeup today. And then for the Magic Mini. This is going to take some time. Actually, this isn't going to take any time at all. I'm going to take the, I'm going to choose the shadow Oshun. It is pink. It's a nice rose gold pinky shadow. I swatched it over the blue shadow. I want pink, basically. I just want some pink in my life. I saw the pink and I was like, yep, it has to be Oshun. Because I, I just want some pink. And of course, it doesn't really look pink on camera. It looks more white gold. But to me, it looks pink. And this is very pretty. This is kind of a nice cohesive color story. I just want to use pink. I saw the pink or should I choose Zuba? It was more of a rose gold. Yeah, it's more of a rose gold. I'll swatch it on my hand. 
can't really see it because I'm back to my skin tone. Should I do? No, I don't want to do Zuba. I'm going to do Oshun. Yep, that's our color story. Easy peasy. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video in this update. Let me know what you think about this new color story. Are you excited for it? I'm definitely excited about it. If you are doing your own pan that eyeshadow, you know, experiment project, let me know how that's going because I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about this uh, color story now because they're all kind of cohesive and maybe, just maybe, I can do a full look with using all of my five shadows because I really love doing that. When I have all of these different looks. I just felt like with the green last month I just couldn't make it work but that's gonna be my goal this month is to use all of them. In terms of the five palette usage goal, I don't know if I can do that with the Kiko. I mean I mean technically I could because I only have the blue. Maybe I'll give it a shot. I don't know but in terms of everything else in this in this color story of, or of these shadows, I am going to try to keep the five usage goal for the palettes overall. Also because I like keeping track of one more thing to make my life in even a little bit more complicated by keeping track of so many things. I feel like I've been missing counts so much, <laughs> but it is what it is. And thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I upload three days a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Something that brings me joy today. Uh, what brings me joy this morning? What brings me joy this morning? I don't know. Maybe my outfit. I think this dress is what's bringing me joy. It's just like a light t-shirt dress I got from Target and it's super comfortable and also my gummy bear rings. I think my outfit. My outfit's what's bringing me joy today. I don't know what the day is going to bring. It's going to be a fun, interesting day at work, but as always guys, have joy.